Hello friends, in this lecture, I would like to explain another topic based on the analysis and design of water tank by using StarPro Connect Edition software. So here, give your file name water tank, choose your default location, type will be analytical, units will be metric and then click create a new model. See here, this is your default user interface like this. Then in the geometry, again in the drop down of grids, select beam grid here. So we have to change this 2D view into 3D. For that, I already solved so many examples based on this grid. So in the first lecture itself, I explained clearly what are the property of, properties of the grid, how to modify these grids also. So if it will be continuation, it will be very easily to understand. Okay, then so you have to change this 2D grid into 3D. For that, we can go to the edit option. See here again, there will be another dialog box. So here generally it will be in the XY plane. So you have to change this one into XZ plane. See here again in the X direction, there will be 10 spacings of 1 meter, and again in the right side, right side 10 grids. So which is in the Z direction, 10 grids of 1 meter spacing. Then click OK. So here at the 0th node, I will just keep one node. For that, click at the 0th node. So come out of this command. For that, click escape. Okay. And again, switch off this grid. See here, there will be only one node placed at that particular end. If you want, you can check once again. See here at the 0th node only, the node will be placed. So again, unhighlight this one. Then only grid will be unhighlighted. So only node will be appear. So here, based on the single grid only, I will create a rectangular or circle uh, square rectangular tank. So for that, uh, go to select option and again here choose node cursor and then copy the node. Okay. And again, for control C is for copying. So for that, I am pressing here control C and again control V for paste. Again, pressing here control V. So see here again, another dialog box will be appear. Here in the x direction, I want the rectangular tank of some 5 meters for that or else some 6 meters or else if you want square, choose both x and z direction some 5 by 5 or 6 by 6. So I will move with some 5, 5 meters or else 6 meters. Okay. Then again, click OK. See here, another node will be placed at a distance of some 6 meters. So go to view here. So go to view option and again in that you can check with front view. See here, it will be in front view. Then, otherwise in the 3D view, you can keep 3D view. You can create another two nodes in the Z direction. Okay. So for that, what you have to do means, again, select, select the node, in the select menu, select the node cursor and again select these two nodes and again press control C and again control V. So again in the Z direction, at a distance of some 6 meters. So this is square tank, okay. Distance of 6 meters, you can place another node. So see here, there will be four nodes created. Okay. If you want, uh, you can create mesh itself here. Otherwise, first you can create another four nodes top, which you will get square in shape. So for that, again, select these four nodes and again, control C and again, control V. In the Y direction, I want the size of some 6 meters, which is in cubical shape. Okay. So if you are creating 5 meter span, automatically will come under and shape which is 5 meter uh, rectangular. So click OK here. See here, 4 nodes top and 4 nodes bottom will be created here. Then here, create mesh for these uh, nodes. For that in the geometry, select generate mesh and again create mesh. So here we have to create the mesh. First, I will create bottom 4 meshes okay so wherever i am starting again i am closing there so here i am preferring quadrilateral meshing click ok so if i will choose 10 division means it will looks like avocado which is heavier so i will prefer some 4 or 5 4 divisions so which is somewhat convenient so i will prefer 5 for all a b and c d 5 click apply okay then again i will add these four nodes 
and again I am start stopping where I am starting and again quadrilateral machine click OK and again five divisions for all click up five and again you will create these four nodes so if you are convenient in selecting this particular node it will be okay otherwise you do one more thing select this one coming from this node generate mesh create mesh and again select these four nodes by the end you can go for translational repeat another two plates okay see here quadrilateral machine click ok to prefer five divisions for all click apply so see here it will be created for selecting another nodes it will be clumsy where it is the starting node for that what i am doing means so go to select option in that parallel to xz direction check xz direction how it will be bottom one so yz means so only this left panel will be created so you can copy this one for that go to geometry go to translational report so again in the z direction see here x direction x direction at a distance of already we created six meters tank therefore give the length of six meter we have to translate this repeat up to this node okay so without any link steps click ok so see here automatically this side plate will be created and again so you have to select only this plate and again give this one to translational repeat so for that click escape here to come out of this command again go to select parallel to yz sorry parallel to xy see here these plates will be highlighted again go to geometry translational repeat and again in the z direction so z means positive z means it will be coming front side so i am going for negative z that is minus 6 and then click ok then see here automatically it will be closes so finally how it will be so if you check in 3d view or else you can see here itself it will be in so after applying the property only it will be comes under 3 d view so i will show that one later see here this is in the cuboid shape so which is of uh, some square tank okay then again in the view select only front view here then first click the supports and then you have to create the supports select fixed supports click add and again click the supports so select only bottom node and again check in 3d view whether all nodes at the bottom are selected or not so selected then assign to the selected nodes so here you assigned the fixed support to the entire bottom plate then next step is materials and again sorry properties and again here you have to assign the property which for thickness so here i will choose some one feet of square tank which is small in properties therefore i will prefer one feet means 300 mm which is 0 0.3 in meter okay click add close so i will select this property and i will assign this entire property for that geometry select sorry select plates cursor select entire plate and then assign to the selected plates so see here now in the view 3d rendering view whether your plates are assigned or not okay see here so this is the shape of that particular tank which is of some 6 meters by 6 meters then again next step is go for loading here select loading then in the load case details click add so first give the live load and give the my title as dead load click add close and again choose another load so if you want you can give in the dead load or else the, in the plate load for that i will go for some second load which is plate load i will give some in the none plate load of certain pressure click add close and again the dead load click add so assign property to the structure which is self-weight which is minus one so it will assign the self-weight 
okay thickness of the plates into its unit weight of rpc so click and then select all the plates and then assign to the selected plates or else assign to view whatever you want so it will be assigned to the entire structure then again the plate load click add so see here so go for plate loads so you have to apply the pressure so your pressure will be around how many meters six meters so for that uh, you will give some six, six meters means you will give some three variation first to two meters it will be some two kilometer per meter square next to two meters it will be some 1.5 kilometer per meter square next to two meters it will be some one kilometer per meter square in the local jet direction only global jet means it can added either in any one direction but you can prefer local jet it will be added to all so for that you can go for local jet one will be two kilometer per meter square another 1.5 will be another two two meters and next one will be one click add load see here three different variations of pressures will be created so before that you can in, go in the utilities and again in the node tools and again node to node distance see here check once again your distance see here in the height wise it will be six meters in the width wise it will be six meters and again in the breadth wise it will be six meters means each and every two plates so not two plates exactly so each and every two plates will consist of 2.4 meters and again these two plates consist of some 2.4 meters and uh, bottom nodes consist of some 1.2 meters so i will do one thing here for first to floor only so for that you to go to view again and again select view option here so in the front view so what i will do here for first top two floors i will apply pressure of 1 kilometer per meter square and bottom two floors i will apply pressure of 1.5 kilometer meter square and again below floor i will apply the pressure of 2 kilometer per meter square which is in the form of plates then for that select top two floors and again geometry select this pressure 1 kilometer per meter square and again in the select select plates cursor select these two plates okay assign to the selected plate then and again select this plate pressure of 1.5 kilometer per meter square and again select these two two floor plates and again assign to the selected plate and again pressure of 1 kilometer per meter square and again select the bottom plate and again assign to the selected plate okay so again in the view go to 3d view and again in the view load diagram so in the loading view load diagram see here so if you just apply only any one pressure sorry here this pressure is not applied in the bottom side because of the question mark for that again again i will go to view and again in the 3d view sorry front view so i will select only these two plates in the select option plates cursor i will select sorry i will select only this bottom plate and i will apply this pressure which is assigned to selected plate so here this plates also assigned okay and again in the view sorry in the view 3d rendering view sorry in the 3d view you see here bottom pressure of 2 km newton per meter square will be applied to the bottom plates which is of 1.2 meters distance and again which is in blue color this will be applied to 2.4 next to two floor plates and again this last plates which is of 2.4 meters distance pressure of 1, 1 kilometer meter 1 kilometer per meter square will be applied like that pressure will be assigned in different variation okay then go to the analysis define the command click all add close and again run analysis save the structure so there will be zero errors and zero warnings so then go to the post processing mode done otherwise 
go for design directly later we will come for post processing mode for that what i will do again in analytical mode select design so prepare concrete design for that concrete and again in the concrete select is 456-2000 and again we have to select the parameters so what parameters we have to select it will be required minimum compressive strength of the concrete main reinforcement okay click ok and again define the parameter so fc characteristic compressive strength i will take m25 grade concrete so that is 25 into 1000 kilonewton per meter square click add and again fi main so i will give yield of from 500 kilonewton per meter square click add close and again in the commands i will only go to the design slab element which is which because i will create only plates here click add close take off will be taken as usually click add close so we have to assign each and every parameter compressive strength of the concrete fc assign to view assign to the entire structure and again fi main assign to view assign to the entire structure again design element assign to view assign to the entire structure so your design also created then again you can go for the analysis define commands click add close and again run analysis save the structure you see again, again any errors will be there so therefore zero so there will be zero errors and zero warnings click done so see in the post processing mode okay check whether any deflections will be there in the plate load or in the dead load any displacements will be there or else you can check the reactions it will be very clumsy i know because there will be so many fixed supports will be created if you want individually you can check here each and force in the x direction for first uh, fixed support like that how many sub, um, fixed supports are there totally around 40 here it will be 5 here it will be 5 sorry 6 into some 5 so like that it will be created you can check individually each and every re support reaction then go to the animation tab then place stress contour and again check the animation sorry in the plate stress contour go to the stress type will be maximum absolute and again in the animation check the stress click ok see here this is your stress distribution in the plate stress distribution in the animation how it will be reflected ok then again in the analytical mode again in the normal animation you will check is there any deflections or there so there will be narrow deflection so it will be deflected in a narrow wise very minimum deflections are there so you check for the only place stress contour and again in the analytical mode check the individual plates so what are the principal stress and displacement here each and everywhere you can check it for both dead load and plate load individually and again what are the property constant for particular plate we are given the node for particular node the thickness will be around 300 mm like that we we gave the thickness here each and everything you have to check the plate number will be around 125 for each and every individual plate you can take the data so what is the geometry of that particular sizes in x y z direction corner stresses if you want dead load you can go that you can if you want live load plate load so you can check that also maximum top principal major stresses maximum bottom principal major stresses this is how the design will be created for individual plates if you want you can go to the output file also for that again you can go to analysis and again run analysis structure and again check the concrete design so view output file click done see the output file how it will be so this is how we have to analyze and design the water tank See here this is the output file again in the output file you please check the concrete design see here this is the concrete design each and, each and every individual plate so there will be top and bottom reinforcement so you will get uh, directly the reinforcement details which is area of the shield based on that you can provide individual area of the shield based on the diameter bar okay Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really like this video, please like this video, share it to your friends and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.